support inside this stadium outnumbering that of Germany by something like three to one. President of FIFA, Sepp Blatter here. Germany welcome back Miroslav Klose from suspension following his sending off against Serbia. He replaces the injured Kakao. All of their other injury concerns have cleared up. So Schweinsteiger, Boateng and star performer so far Ozil start. Klose wins his 99th cap and goes in search of a 50th international goal. Both he and Lukas Podolski struggled for goals for their club sides last season. But how many times did Germany produce their key players at just the right time? Our referee is from Uruguay, Jorge Larionda. Steven Gerrard, consensus of opinion, he's been England's best performer up to now. They're unchanged from their only win so far against Slovenia, which has brought them to this stage. It means despite Ledley King being fit again and Jamie Carragher free from suspension, Matthew Upson, Fabio Capello's fourth choice central defender at this World Cup, retains his place alongside John Terry. A good omen for England? Well, they both started and scored the last time the teams met in 2008, England's 2-1 friendly win in Berlin. Wayne Rooney, I'm told, has been in red-hot form in training over the past few days, but still awaits his first goal in South Africa. Only Kakao is unavailable from the respective 23 strong squads. Joachim Löw talks of extending his contract with the national team have been placed on hold until after this World Cup. This man's mood lightened considerably after the win over Slovenia in the final group game and believes his players are in a better place psychologically than they were after the opening draws with the USA and Algeria. They've progressed from their European Championship winning team of last summer and how these under-21 players are taking to the big stage. Many of them looking like they've been playing in the famous wide of Germany for years. Certainly that was the case against Australia in that stunning 4-0 opening group game win. But then came the shock defeat to Serbia and a narrow win over Ghana. In fact, the margin of error for these two in getting through their respective groups was slim. They were only one goal each away from conceding a goal which would have meant an early return home. And the ignominy that would have brought. Now Rooney trying to ease his way past Mertesacker. Here's Schweinsteiger. Ozil, who twisted an ankle in the last game but was always expected to be fit. Closer back from suspension, looking for Muller, the pass wasn't a particularly good one. Ashley Cole stepped in to earn England a throw. The latest chapter in this Anglo-German story will be written today. We're in Bloemfontein, the judicial capital of South Africa, who will be judge and jury. This is Friedrich, cut out by Terry, Gerard. Cole, the England captain, Stephen Gerard. Now Upson. Lots of room on the right-hand side for Glenn Johnson if uh, Gerrard seeks to pick him out. Pass was shorter than that, though, for Milner. Lampard helped it on, looking for Defoe. Stamp forward here. And Germany threatened through Urzil. Taken on by Podolski. And seen away to safety by Gareth Barry.
England number 14. His World Cup was a uh, major doubt with an ankle injury that he picked up playing for his club side Manchester City. Fabio Capello played a waiting, patient game. And Barry finally made it. Very much the holding player, principally in the England setup in midfield. Germany's tactical setup is an interesting one. It's essentially 4 2 3 1. And they're not really two holding midfield players. Schweinsteiger is the, is the base of it, but Kedira, we've seen making plenty of runs into the opposition penalty area in this World Cup. And look out for he and Ozil. Very intelligent players out of possession. And England will be mindful of their movement. Rooney trying to feed off his own header. Matasaka has time to go back here with Neuer. Header one by Upson. Oh, and it's straight into the path here of Rooney, and he's flagged offside. The England players are complaining. As the ball was played back inadvertently by a, a German foot. But the fact that when the ball was played forward, Rooney was in an offside position. Well, I guess that's why the uh, decision was made. Here now is Ozil, he's got away from Cole. David James for the first save. And it could easily have spooned up and over the England goalkeeper into the back of his net. There's that movement from Ozil I was mentioning. Getting in behind Ashley Cole. And James just doing enough. Here's that incident again. Uh, Rooney's offside when England play the ball forward. And that's why the flag went up from the assistant on the far side. Schweinsteiger meantime with the first corner of the game and James gathers comfortably. Germany with this marvellous record at World Cup finals never failed to negotiate a group stage. This is uh, Muller, just drifted in from the right-hand side, way over to the left, just emphasising the fluidity in this German team. Forward by Boateng, offside against uh, Ozil. John Terry back to his best for England in that game against Slovenia. Huge clearance from James, that's way too long for Rooney. Manuel Neuer must be pinching himself that he's got his chance in the German goal, Rene Adler and the late Robert Enke were the two goalkeepers who operated for Germany in their fine qualifying where they were unbeaten. But Adler picked up uh, an injury and Neuer given his chance, the 24-year-old Schalke keeper. Throw here for Germany's captain, Philipp Lahm. Operated at both right back and left back so far at this World Cup. Miroslav Klose. Schweinsteiger. Collected well by Muller. Ozil. Lam. A break kindly here for Mesut Ozil. Wants it on his uh, left foot. Showed too much, it, too much of it to Cole. Back with Ozil again though, and he's onside. Calmly dealt with by England at the back. Rooney controlled that beautifully. Johnson. Gareth Barry. Now Milner. T 
Tidy work there from Boateng with the help of Schweinsteiger. Germany clear, only as far as John Terry. Just the one chance so far. Went to Mesut Ozil. Denied by the legs of David James. Gerrard's expansive pass too long for Milner. Players will have to make sure they get their range of passing. Once the ball bounces here at altitude, very difficult for the target of the pass to collect. 1,400 metres above sea level here in Bloemfontein, which in Afrikaans means fountain of flowers. The locals tend to christen this city the City of Roses. Wayne Rooney been a brooding figure for England for much of this World Cup. Will this be the day he announces himself at these finals? Closer. It's been a nuisance there to Terry. Ozil, Podolski making a run for him, cut out easily by Terry. Gerard finding some space. In towards Defoe, well read by Neuer, good starting position there for Manuel Neuer. These two sides have met four times previously at the World Cup, and on every occasion it's gone beyond 90 minutes. Strap yourselves in, could be in for a long ride in Bloemfontein. Rooney, Milner. All very narrow for England. Johnson's trying to provide a bit of width on the right. Barry looking down the middle, it's all too tight for England. Here's Ozil. And they've got a three-on-three three situation, four-on-three now for Germany. It's Lukas Podolski, blocked by Terry. But suddenly, Germany broke quickly and had that four-on-three situation which they couldn't exploit via Podolski. Gerard. Barry. Now Rooney. Ashley Cole. So far from what we've seen of this Germany team, they like to play at a high tempo. From England's point of view, that ought to suit them. They like the game played quickly. Here's Johnson. Milner. Decent looking cross, well met by Mertesacker. This is Schweinsteiger. So important that Germany got him back into their engine room today. Now Lahm. Schweinsteiger Ozil Germany have enjoyed more of possession in all of their matches at this World Cup so far England have only had more of the ball in one of their three games so it won't be any great surprise to see Germany have more of it it's Cole's challenge on Muller we really felt it and Frank Lampard has sportingly placed the ball out of play Thomas Muller Running into a meaningful challenge from Ashley Cole, perfectly legitimate. No lasting damage for Muller.
Germany and England playing for a quarter-final place and a match against either Argentina or Mexico next Saturday in Cape Town that uh, South American Central American clash takes place uh, tonight in Johannesburg Lampard Cole Barry neatly away from Muller Gerrard trying to feed the run here of Ashley Cole who rather turned into trouble in the shape of Lam and that will be a goal kick to Germany Friedrich played a lot of his international football as a right back Arne Friedrich and probably wouldn't have been in the Germany starting 11 had uh, Heiko Westermann not been injured and unable to take his place here one of several German players who missed out through injury notably their captain Michael Ballack how well Sami Kadira has substituted for Ballack so far Another player who didn't make it was Christian Treich, very versatile player, who can play in defence or midfield. So Kadira's chance was a surprise one and he's taking it with both hands, here he is. Schweinsteiger. Muller. Lahm. Easy take for James. Rolls the ball out into space here for Frank Lampard. Only Defoe and Rooney ahead of him. Here is Wayne Rooney, nothing to his left. Gerrard has to fill that role between the centre of England's midfield and the left-hand side. Johnson. Now Thomas Muller. Worked that nicely with Ozil. Nice touch from closer. Podolski. Ozil. Schweinsteiger. Now Kedira, finding a little bit of room for the shot. Sami Kedira, one of 11 members of this 23-strong Germany squad who could have qualified to play for another country. One of his parents is Tunisian. Slight concern there for David James with the space that opened up for the Kadira shot. Full house at the Free State Stadium in Bloemfontein, enjoying the mild weather. Here's Rooney. Podolski fouled by Johnson. One of the interesting personal duels out there. Lucas Podolski and up against Glenn Johnson. Schweinsteiger. Not caught in two minds there. Loses out. This is Defoe. Getting away from Kedira. Lampard. Free kick conceded by Schweinsteiger. A good position for England. All a bit.
bit untidy. It certainly worked out for the team in red. Been a lot of debate about how England can set up with both Lampard and Gerrard in the same team. They both want to be over this free kick, but it's Lampard who gets a first bite. Just coming off his best ever season for goals with Chelsea. It's a firm German wall. Cole. Rooney. Pass intercepted by Closer. Here's Lam. Lampard with room. Gerard. Johnson make his way up on the right hand side. Lampard looking to feed that run. It's cut off uh, initially by Podolski and then cleared by Jerome Boateng. Fizzed in by Gerard. That's going to beat everyone. Almost 20 first half minutes gone. Only the one real opportunity created, and that by Germany. Mesut Ozil getting in behind the England. Misread by Terry. Here's closer. It's Mirosav closer, and Germany lead. His 12th goal at World Cup finals takes advantage of slack England defending and moves within two now of the legendary Gerd Muller's national goal scoring record on the world stage nothing inventive about this John Terry couldn't deal with it Upson couldn't get to closer and when he gets in these positions it's usually that result Stronger than Upson. And when the chance met that right foot, so much composure. Miroslav closer for Germany. First time at this World Cup, England have been behind. And here comes Germany again. Schweinsteiger finding Ozil. Just couldn't take it initially in his stride, had he done so. He was looking at a shot at England's goal. Here's Ozil. Up goes Muller. Wonderful lift for Germany. Goal for closer coming in the 20th minute. Here's Defoe. Can't get past Friedrich. Lampard. He was just too good for Upson after the initial error from John Terry, who's had three different central defensive partners for England so far at this World Cup. Joachim Love and his staff elated. Just the second chance of the game. There have only been two from either side so far. Closer delivers. Peels for handball. 
Friedrich who meant it, here's Podolski in steps Terry, now Gerrard John Terry finding himself in a midfield position picking out Rooney well he saw the opening would have taken something special to Tess Neuer and Wayne Rooney got this horribly wrong as indeed England did at the back it was a coming together of arms but at the six of one half a dozen of the other David James left exposed and Campello understandably wears a face of anxiety Germany settled the better of the two teams passed the ball around more cohesively their movement has been better Ozil ball struck uh, closer out for an England goal kick well he hoped from England's point of view Capello that they'd have lost the, the fear that Landon Donovan said were, was in England's eyes when uh, the USA met Capello's team at the group stage they weren't the only side to have a fear of failure. Some big uh, nations have already gone home, having suffered that. But it's cup tie, knockout football. And the freedom and expression has been mainly deployed by white shirts up to now. Terry. Johnson. Lampard Gareth Barry struck it well it's England's first attempt on target from Gareth Barry here's close up once again breathing down the neck of Matthew Upson as he did for the goal this time fouling. Kedira. Another good run from Urzil, but Kedira's pass is over hit. More variety about Germany's play. England struggling for rhythm, which hamstrung their first two games at this World Cup they were abject against uh, Algeria not much better against the United States in that 1-1 draw here's Rooney neatly away from Friedrich Johnson can't turn away from uh, Podolski Good defensive job done there for Germany by Lucas Podolski Schweinsteiger finding some joy uh, Germany in between the England lines that gap between the back four and the midfield Schweinsteiger Ozil, Kedira all benefiting in that area of the field Muller on occasions too Rooney here's Barry now Lampard Gerrard plenty forward here for England oh, Milner getting tangled up with the referee Not 
the first time Capello has been out to the edge of his technical area barking out his dislike I think his wrath was aimed at the referee it was an awkward one for Jorge Laurie under the referee and he got in the way of Milner Upson that's a poor ball his place was in doubt uh, Matthew Upson to even make the squad he was looking for Rooney who still is feeding off a very little service Certainly Germany have had the better of the recent uh, and even indeed not so recent international meetings of these two. In fact, England have never beaten Germany at a major tournament since their finest hour when they won England, their one and only World Cup at Wembley in 1966. Upson, Cole, Gerrard's made a run here, Lampard has overhit it, at least there was a little bit of movement from England for the man in possession. Ashley Cole was wanting an England throw, it's gone the way of Philip Lahm and Germany. Muller, Kedira, neatly done, this is Thomas Muller, and here's closer! Vital save from England's point of view from David James, lovely move from Germany. Well, this predominantly young team, he's really turning on the style, now can Rooney do it for the red-shirted England? Going to be out of the reach of Milner. Fluent again from the Germans. Onside, perfectly timed, pass and run. James denying closer his second goal of this first half. Johnson. In towards Defoe's offside. Wouldn't have counted. Jermaine Defoe, scorer of England's goal against Slovenia, which has brought England to this last 16 stage. Wow, it's a close one, wasn't it? A lot of confidence about this German team, despite in so many areas a lack of experience. Here are the youngsters again passing it around superbly, and this is closest pass. And now it's Muller, England all over the place. Podolski, great stuff from Germany, 2 0. Magnificent football. Lucas Podolski. Adds to the early goal from Miroslav Klose. And these two serial goal scorers for the German national side ripped England apart. High class football. The youngsters involved. Then the crucial pass from Klose set Muller free. And once he found Podolski, he kept his head and found the perfect shot. Germany 2, England 0.
amazing that back in Germany, not too many people had great expectations about this squad's chances. But they are feeling 10 feet tall out there now, the players in white. Brilliantly constructed second goal. England shell-shocked. Might have gone in alone there, Muller got his head up, saw the big picture. Podolski unmarked, and the tidiest of finishes. Defoe. Here's Milner. In towards Lampard! Well, that's as close as England have been. Lovely ball in this from James Milner. Lampard attacked it. Came off, I think, both Neuer and Mertesacker. Maybe a piece of it as well for Lampard. That could easily have deflected into that German goal. Lampard got there first. No touch for Mertesacker, but certainly off Neuer. Muller. What a good prospect this boy looks. He's only 20, Thomas Muller, and here's closer. And again, he was running free of Upson, and he needed Glenn Johnson, the right back, to come across and close the door. But this German movement is too good for England. Nearly a route to a third for Miroslav Klose. Barry. Failed to control, closer! Again, he's denied by James. England failed to deal with that corner kick. Neither Upson or Barry could deal with it. Closer, got his shot away. Underlining England nerves. It was Gerard who just stepped in ahead of James. Latest German corner. From Urzil, no problems this time for David James. But Germany in the mood to win this game by half time. Not many would have forecast that. The third goal might well put the seal on it. Lampard, though, has earned a corner. Well, the cat and mouse. The first 10 minutes or so, certainly no sign of that now. Germany have blown this game wide open, very much in their favour. Here's Gerard, and the header's in! Really well taken by Matthew Upson. Well, he scored when England last met Germany in a friendly in Berlin in 2008. England won 2-1 on that occasion. It's 2-1 in Bloemfontein. Germany have the lead, but pegged back by a fine header from Matthew Upson. Question mark certainly about Neuer. If you come, you have to get there, and he was in no man's land. From England's point of view, exactly what they needed. Here's Milner, Defoe looking for room, Lampard! Did it go in? No, say the officials. Oh, it's Wembley, 1966 all over again. 
and Jeff Hurst given the goal on that day, but no goal for Lampard in South Africa. Here's Podolski. Well, this is turning into a classic. Over the line or not? Yes, most definitely. It's well over. England are denied an equaliser. And they'll be screaming for the rooftops for video technology. He's already celebrating the goal. Capello. He was convinced from his vantage point it was over. The replay showed it was well over the line. But video technology doesn't appear to be on the horizon. FIFA say that two extra assistants are likely to be brought in for the 2014 finals in Brazil. And had there been one behind that Germany goal, surely England would have been level. Here now is Defoe. It's a corner. Well, this has been quite a response. And frankly, it was hard to see where it was coming from. But look at that. That is a good foot and a half, two feet beyond Manuel Neuer's goal line. And that's the man who didn't make the call. Gerard. Well, if England end up going out of the World Cup on that decision, it will take a lot of getting over. And sloppy from England Germany is playing with 10 for the time being closer is off getting some attention on the near touchline five minutes to go to half time England fans voicing their discontent at the disallowing of that goal for Lampard, a goal it most certainly was. How many years have Germany claimed that Hurst's goal in that 66 World Cup final didn't cross the goal line? England got the benefit of it then, but not here. Kedira, Muller, out of the reach of Urzil. England have had more of the possession than Germany in this first half. 57% up until they got that goal from Upson. And ought to have had that equaliser from Lampard. They hadn't really done an awful lot with it. Germany, much the more fluent team. And England might yet get themselves level before half time. Here's Schweinsteiger. He's got a job on at the moment just to settle Germany. This is uh, Muller. Width provided here by Urzil. Danger coming in on his left foot. Mess at Urzil. Final touch is a German one, disappointment for him. One of the most controversial moments in World Cup history. That will be replayed many a time. Frank Lampard denied an England equalising goal.
Gerrard. Superb pass to pick out uh, Milner, who can't uh, find Johnson. This is Boateng, Schweinsteiger. England throw with a minute and a half to go to half time. Good ball from Barry. Cole will keep it in. Four red shirts waiting for the cross. So to Mertesacker. Terry Johnson plenty of time here for Per Mertesaka here's Lam stepped forward by Upson but no red shirt will get to that Lead the old heads of Per Mertesacker, Philip Lahm, Arno Friedrich at the back there for Germany. If England remain in the mood, they are currently. But another slow start at this World Cup for Fabio Capello's team. Just the one extra minute added on. Dummy by Milner, Johnson running into the space, can't keep the ball in though, Glenn Johnson. Additional time, one minute. Gerard. Upson. We've had almost the 60 seconds of added on by Jorge Larionda as uh, Rooney barks at the assistant on the far side looking for a free kick. And just about the last action of the first half, indeed it is. Well, half time at Bloemfontein, and the boos from the England fans ring around this stadium. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, a big football fan with his England colours on. And Frank Lampard denied an equalising goal, his shot off the underside of the crossbar clearly bounced over the goal line. Matthew Upson's headed goal, though, has got England back into this game after Germany took control through those goals from Miroslav Klose and Lukas Podolski. Silky smooth Germany for much of that first half, but England's goal through Upson has got them right back in it. Germany 2, England 1 at the break. There are five key steps to tackling the coronavirus. Hands, elbow, face, distance and feel. Comece pelas mãos, por favor. Lave as mãos com frequência usando sabão ou gel desinfetante. With your elbows bent, please cover your nose and mouth if you sneeze or cough. If using tissues, dispose of them immediately. Respecto a la cara, evita tocarte tus ojos, nariz y boca, así puedes evitar que el virus entre en tu cuerpo. Si vous vous sentez mal, restez chez vous et suivez scrupuleusement les consignes des autorités sanitaires.
The nations of Germany and England are at a standstill right now. This game has captured the imagination of South Africa too. And wherever you are watching, a dramatic 45 minutes at least in store. No room there for Gerard. And certainly Germany have posted danger signals to Steven Gerrard and his England team with their movement and slick passing. They look like they've got more goals in them, Germany, in this match. As for England, spirit is good to react as well as they did from going 2-0 down. And certainly they finished that first half on top. This is Upson. Rooney trying to cushion the header for the overlapping fullback, Ashley Cole. Gerard, Lampard. Foul by uh, Friedrichs, going to be the first card of the game. Arne Friedrich, who wasn't one of five German players who were carrying a yellow card into this last 16 match. So that will be around uh, half dozen now of German players who will need to be careful from here on in, not only in this game, but any possible quarter-final. Amnesty doesn't come in until after the quarter-final at this World Cup. It's Milner trying his luck. Stuart Pearce, former England fullback, alongside Fabio Capello, Pierce's under-21 England team that were thrashed 4-0 by Germany in last summer's European under-21 championship. The German side really dominated that final and several of that team have already stepped up to the senior side, the likes of Muller, Kedira, Ozil. Goalkeeper Neuer was in that side too, as was uh, one of the substitutes, Bad Stuber. Here's Gerrard for England. Plenty of red shirts flooding that Germany penalty area. It's Gerrard and just gave himself too much to do there, the England captain. Three World Cup goals to his credit. One here in South Africa, two back in uh, 2006 finals in Germany. Boateng showing no sign of the calf and back problems. It made the Germany left back a doubtful starter. This is Mertesacker, now Lahm. Kedira. Noya taking a little bit of a risk there with Defoe pressurising him. This is Ashley Cole. Forward by Lampard. Mertesacker underneath that one. It will be kept in by the Germany captain, Philipp Lahm. Mm. 
no discernible pattern to this second half in the five minutes we've had. Johnson. England goal scorer Matthew Upson. Gerard. Referee will allow advantage. There was a foul there by Schweinsteiger. This is Rooney. And Friedrich, having already picked up a yellow card, just needs to be a little more circumspect in his challenge as he was there on Rooney. Opportunity for England to send forward both the central defenders, Terry and Upson. Lampard might have half a mind on shooting for goal here. Lampard does go for goal off the bar. Brilliant strike from Frank Lampard. Neuer was beaten. This time there wasn't a question over whether it crossed the goal line or not. But that bar is still shaking. Johnson England supporters roar their side forward it's too long from Milner what a strike from Frank Lampard that had real action on it and Venom Neuer was never getting there Lampard for the second time in this match hits the woodwork. Kidira. Beautifully controlled by Muller, offside against Closer. Just plays on the percentages, Miroslav Closer to good England back line. Born in uh, Poland, Miroslav Klose. So many of a ethnically diverse group of players that Germany have brought to this World Cup who could have played for other countries. Decided that Germany would be their adopted nation in terms of international football. Referee Larry Ondo is getting a bit frustrated here with Neuer. Wants him to get on with it. You don't want to mess with this referee. Our Uruguayan official, in the last 11 years of officiating matches, has shown red cards in 70% of his games. It's only England that have seen red so far, and that disallowed Lampard goal. Poor pass from Terry. Looked nervous there, John Terry, when he was in possession. This is closer. And Terry has conceded the corner. It's a really nervy touch from the Chelsea defender. Still thinking about that long kick from Neuer, I think, that uh, he misread for the opening goal. Both the goals that England have conceded at this World Cup have been very preventable. Ozil, in by Lam, Rooney's there, this will be a corner this time for, a uh, throw rather for Germany this time. Ozil.
Germany remain camped deep in England territory. Mertesacker. Ozil, busy player, always wants to be on the ball. Here's Kedira, almost stroked that into the path of Thomas Muller, who applauded Kedira's efforts. This was close to an opening for Germany. Gerard, Barry, Gerard again, easy for Neuer. Kept in by Johnson. Looked as though he was uh, favourite to do so. Steven Gerrard. Happy to go all the way back here with James. Jerome Boateng going to be moving to uh, English club football next season with uh, Manchester City making the move from Hamburg flicked on by Rooney with an alarm back pass wasn't the most assured and Defoe was nearly in there for England having spoken about John Terry's nervousness at the back evident there and Philip Lahm here's Gerrard it's not quite getting the accuracy of the England captain but uh, ooh, alarm very nearly presented that to Defoe needed the swift reactions of Neuer Gareth Barry Well met by Mertesacker. This is Upson. His distribution has been lacking. England have been trying to develop defenders who can play out from the back. Fabio Capello schooled and brought up that way in Italy. Cannot understand what Matthew Upson was trying there. Had a one well by closer. Here's Urzil. Helped on by Kedira for Podolski. He's got support from Boateng. Ignores him. This is Muller. The gap's opening up for Thomas Muller. Well, Germany are wanting a corner. The referee has signalled a goal kick. Looked like there was a deflection here. Look how that England defence parted. Gareth Barry moving to the right. Muller toe poked the shot towards goal. Did it take a deflection? Maybe not in the end. Philip Lahm. David Beckham not fit enough to be part of Fabio Capello's squad but as big an England fan as there is inside this stadium right now Rooney Lampard making a clever run 
probably the wrong option from Rooney. It's uh, perhaps being a little unkind to him there, but Defoe is probably in more space than that Lampard. We've had an hour in Bloemfontein. And the scoreline remains the same as it was at half-time. Germany had a 2-0 lead at one stage, closer, and Podolski, the goal scorers, ups and getting one back for England. Here's Milner. Really fine take by Neuer. A very well struck cross in from James Milner. Good eye there and excellent hands from Neuer. Gareth Barry for England. Rooney made the space. It's Wayne Rooney. And now it's Milner! Blocked by Boateng. That was an important block for Germany. That looked as if it was destined for the back of the net from James Milner. Fed by Rooney. Milner again. Mertesacker unchallenged, helped away by Schweinsteiger. Cole. Held up well by Lahm. Schweinsteiger. Germany showing England how it should be done, playing the ball out from the back. Barry's challenge on Muller. No free kick, here's Defoe, great pass from Rooney. Gerard can't get a foot in. And it's Friedrich who brings it away for Germany. The tension in Bloemfontein is palpable. Schweinsteiger is neat. Switches the play intelligently to pick out Podolski. Germany sweep forward. Smooth again, Schweinsteiger! Not too far away from David James's right-hand post. I think uh, closer, who was looking to pick up any pieces. Wasn't really that close, in honesty. And that was good defending by uh, Friedrich. Excellent work from 31-year-old Arne Friedrich. Defoe, Milner offering England width on this right-hand side again. This is Podolski. Breaks kindly here for Germany, this is Ozil. Kedira. Ozil. Boateng. He tries luck. Never scored. Jerome Boateng for the senior international team. It's only his seventh cap today. England have far more experience than Germany out there. They're going to bring on a, another experienced player in Joe Cole. He is going to replace James Milner. It's a little bit of a surprise for me. Just in the last few minutes, Milner had been seeing plenty of the ball on the right-hand side and, and delivered one or two good crosses. It makes way for the more experienced Chelsea player. Looks uh, destined to move this summer from Stamford Bridge. Joe Cole gets his chance to shine now in the red of England. by Mertesacker. Glenn Johnson. Cole. Joe Cole. I've now got uh, two Coles out there for England.
closest we've been to a goal in the second half, that rasping free kick from 34 metres out from Frank Lampard that struck the crossbar. Here's Joe Cole. Rooney. Trying to get beyond uh, Friedrich, who obstructed Rooney. Looked round rather nervously for a moment, Anna Friedrich, to make sure the referee wasn't reaching for second yellow card for the Germany number three. A little closer to goal for Lampard this time. Will this be Frank Lampard's moment? Unlucky twice. It breaks for Gareth Barry. Can't find the pass and Germany can break on England here. It's a lovely ball from Muller. Schweinsteiger. Lots of space here for Muller. 3-1 for Germany. A brilliant counter-attack from Joachim Löw's side. England exposed. From Lampard's charge down free kick, Barry lost possession, and then it was on for Germany. And how quickly Muller switched it to Schweinsteiger. And then he, in turn, found Muller. on the shot, beating David James at his near post. Good awareness, first from Muller, then from Schweinsteiger, and when Muller was presented with a shot, James got a touch, but the velocity of the shot beat him. Devastating counter-attack. Ozil was in an offside position, but not active. David James seeing the ball off his elbow, just squeezing inside his near post. The oh so thin margins between success and failure at the top level of international football have been on view today. Here's Kedira. Boateng. And Muller! Good chance for his second goal for Thomas Muller. Look at the space he found there. England heads haven't cleared. Once again, England having to come from two goals behind. Lampard, Barry, it's a clever pass to pick out Gerrard, England corner. Terry and Upson made their way forward for the captain's delivery. Way by Kedira. Terry, Joe Cole. Race on here between Urzil and Gareth Barry, and Urzil showed great balance and pace. He's got a pass on here for Muller, must be four, is four, and Germany surely out of sight of England. It's high class, expensive football from the Germans. And they are surely making their way to Cape Town in a quarter-final meeting against either Argentina or Mexico next Saturday.
Again, it all came from England, camped inside their own half. But once England lose possession, closer down the line here for Ozil. Too quick for Gareth Barry. Held his nerve. Muller in support. And no mistake from Thomas Muller. Germany over the horizon and away. England taking off Jermaine Defoe, replacing him with Emil Heskey. Germany are also ready to make a couple of changes. I don't think until uh, play restarts they'll get their chance. But England have been swept away with two goals inside four minutes from Thomas Muller. The youngest player in this German team. And set up by the man who's just a year older at 21, Mesut Ozil. They have found some young players, Germany. They're going to be around for many more years to come. The two-goal hero, Muller departs. Piotr Trakowski is the man to replace him. Miroslav Klose, meantime, makes way for Mario Gomez. Hugs all round amongst the German camp. Well, the last time the nations met in a competitive match, England thrashed Germany 5-1. It represented Germany's biggest ever defeat in Berlin. Michael Owen scored a hat-trick on that occasion. But it's going to be Germany's day in Bloemfontein unless Fabio Capello witnesses a miracle. Gareth Barry with the free kick. Neuer just coming out to take charge. Mertesacker got his head to it. England have got 18 minutes plus any time to be added on to find three goals. And if we do have yet another extra time Germany-England game then in a little under 20 minutes time we'll all be blinking in disbelief it might just get even better for Germany England have got to gamble and push bodies forward and we've seen how devastating Germany are on the counter-attack If you want to go to school on how to hit teams on the break, this Germany video will be studied throughout the global game. Irresistible. Boateng, Podolski, Fabio Capello is absolutely distraught in the England technical area at the moment. Going through agony, the England head coach. But as much as many will be queuing up to praise Germany for the way they've counter-attacked England, I'm sure they will be looking inward, England looking deeply at how they were set up out of the ball when they lost possession twice deep inside the German half. It's a foul on Schweinsteiger by Johnson.
quarter of an hour left. Germany four, England one. Second time the Germans have scored four times at this World Cup. Four without reply in their first game and they were brilliant. I commentated on that match against Australia in Durban. Dipped a little from that form in their two remaining group stage games. But right back on song here. Had Lampard's goal stood at 2-1 just before half-time. Who knows how the psychology might have panned out in the second half with England. If it had stood, coming from 2-0 down. But once Muller made it three, the task was tall. And when he made it four, England's opportunities of making the quarter-finals became impossible. Here's Podolski. Well, they're in the mood still to really put England to the sword. Boateng, Schweinsteiger. Every pass being cheered by the German fans who are outnumbered by their England counterparts. Something like three to one in this packed house at the Free State Stadium. But the passing's great again. This is Mario Gomez. Couldn't find the return for Kedira. Joe Cole, Wayne Rooney, held up partially by Schweinsteiger. Podolski, lots of room here for Boateng. England players looking tired, both physically and mentally. There'll be a few pundits back in Germany eating humble pie. Quite a number have written off their team's chances of making uh, even the quarter-final at this World Cup. They haven't finished lower than the last eight in their last four appearances, third four years ago, runners-up in 2002 for Fabio Capello in England. It's a case of being caught in a hurricane from which there is no escape. Here's Podolski. England can certainly look back on some bad luck. Lampard's disallowed goal, Lampard's shot in the second half off the crossbar which uh, had both gone in would have had England 3-2 in the lead Germany have ridden upon that uh, good fortune that came their way but you have to say throughout they have looked the more cohesive team looked the more dangerous in the final third and indeed look like they've got plenty more goals left here in South Africa. Just over 10 minutes to go. Gareth Barry. John Terry. Looks as though he won't be a World Cup winner, the core of this England team probably won't be around in four years' time in Brazil. It's assuming England qualify. The Gerrards, the Terrys, the Lampards, the golden generation, as they were called. They don't like that term because they haven't won a major tournament and they're not going to win this one.
Joe Cole. Pesky. Lampard. Barry. Gerard taking the pass from Rooney. Gerard! Great save by Neuer. Steven Gerrard doing all he can to reduce the deficit. Links well here with Rooney. This is top class from Neuer. Just the fingertips enough to turn Gerrard's cross wide. Another break on for Germany. Not now. Ozil has been fouled by Johnson. He'll pick up a yellow card for that. And Glenn Johnson will miss England's next international match, it won't be in the World Cup but that's his second yellow card of these finals shakes his head but I think we'll see here once Ozil felt the challenge he was happy to go down and buy the free kick Mertesacker well, as I said at the outset of today this is a different Germany team from ones we've seen in the past ones that have been mentally strong so well organised and prepared but often willing to grind results out know their way to winning a football match but there's a lot of invention and craft and guile in this team a lot of pace in vital areas and the youngsters have shone again here in Bluefontaine another of them coming on now another of the bright young things from the under 21 ranks Stefan Kiesling is going to replace Mesut Ozil what a tournament he's had so far he was under a lot of pressure to play for Turkey the nation of his parents birth how happy are Germany to have Mesut Ozil in their ranks what a future ahead of that 21 year old Trokowski and Ashley Cole on the chase it's Cole who brings it away for England Attempts to do so, but Trukowski's got the better of him. Here's Kiesling. Had a link with his fellow substitute, Gomez. It's one of the best saves we've seen at this World Cup from Manuel Neuer. Podolski. Clever pass, picks out Kiesling. Schweinsteiger. Boateng's pass, wayward of uh, Podolski. A lot of the talk before this match, perhaps inevitably, was about penalties. And England's phobia of penalty shootouts. And Germany have gone about their task in most conclusive fashion to make sure that there wasn't ever going to be the likelihood of a penalty situation here between England and Germany and they normally come out on top the players in white Space to turn into here for Gomez. Here's Kiesling. Trukowski. Driven a little wide by the Kiesling pass. Kedira. Lam. England are going to bring on Sean Wright Phillips in a moment or two's time. 
Germany enjoying a bout of possession again here. Jerome Boateng. Here's Podolski. Toying with England here, Germany. Germany's stranglehold over England at major tournaments continues. Kiesling's header on for Gomez. Here's Podolski. Gomez. Got to take the ball with him. This is Kedira. Had another fine game as uh, Sami Kadira. Amazing how these young players keep saying it, how they have slotted in so quickly to the big international stage. Only a ninth cap today for Kadira. Right, Phillips for the injured Glenn Johnson will be the England change. Sean Wright Phillips is going to adopt an unusual right back position. The England fans is discussing how it all has gone wrong for their team here in Bloemfontein. Three minutes of the 90 remaining. Podolski. Fed forward by Lampard. Here's Rooney running away momentarily here from Friedrich, who gets back to good effect. It will be an England corner. And Wayne Rooney. Facing another shutout in terms of goals at this World Cup. Gerard Rooney, they've worked that nicely. Blocked by Neuer. And Barry's shot deflected away for another corner. England only looking for a semblance of respectability on the scoreline. Helped on by Rooney. From England's point of view, this World Cup is going to take a little bit of getting over this exit at the last 16. They've gone out in the quarter-final of the last two finals. Really believed they were good enough to beat this predominantly young German side as Lampard Tess Neuer he's had a really frustrating time of it Frank Lampard a goal wrongly disallowed a shot off the crossbar and another good effort here Kedira what a lift for German football this June day has been the confidence will be sky high going into the quarter-final against either Argentina or Mexico in Cape Town next Saturday perhaps the scoreline flatters Germany a little. When you think about the unfortunate moments for Lampard. But they are reaping the rewards out here today of spending more on their academy. The Bundesliga spends uh, much more than the English Premier League on its academy. And the fruits are here to see in the German ranks. In the Kadiras, the Urzils, the Mullers. 
Neuer, the goalkeeper, who's looked sound when called upon. Joachim Löw, in contrast to Capello. David Beckham almost can't bring himself to watch the final rituals being played out here. We're into stoppage time. Too long for Rooney. Space to move into here for Schweinsteiger. Now can Germany really put the cherry on the cake with a fifth? Schweinsteiger. Kedira. Always seems to be available. Schweinsteiger. Decision goes the way of England. Collective shoulders slumped in red shirts. A degree of naval gazing for England, but for triumphant Germany on a very, very special day for them. A look back on a tremendous display. England have been buried here in Bloemfontein. In the city of roses, it's Germany who are smelling fragrant. And on their way to a quarter-final meeting in Cape Town next Saturday against either Argentina or Mexico. They have fully deserved it. Steven Gerrard may not be around in four years' time, or Lampard or Terry. A good generation, I wouldn't say a great generation of England players, a good generation haven't come close to challenging for the World Cup in South Africa, vanquished by this very promising and confident young German team two goals for 20 year old Thomas Muller, not the stuffing out of England, it's finished Germany 4, England 1 Ja, so vielleicht nicht ganz, weil äh, die Engländer natürlich auch klasse Spieler haben, aber ich denke, die beiden Tore haben uns gut getan. Dann waren wir mal eine Phase, wo England stark war, aber in der zweiten Halbzeit haben wir eiskalt zurückgeschlagen. Ja, es war aber sensationell, wie die Tore herausgespielt wurden. Allein das 3-4-1 nach einem Freischuss bzw. nach einem Einwurf für die Engländer. Ist das die Spielerlage, so wie sie ausgewählt und trainiert wurde von Ihnen? Ja, bei Ballgewinn, schnelles Überbrücken des Mittelfeldes, schnell in die Spitze spielen. Klar, so fallen heute die Tore. Ich denke, das haben wir häufig auch gemacht. Heute hat es geklappt. Auch schon phasenweise berauscht in der ersten Halbzeit. Dann der Wackler beim 2 zu 1. Dadurch vollzog sie eine leichte Unsicherheit. Wie war die Ansage der Kabine, damit da wieder Sicherheit reinkommt? Ja, dass wir auf jeden Fall auf das dritte Tor spielen müssen und jede Chance nach vorne nutzen. Wir wussten, dass es Konterchancen gibt, weil die Engländer aufmachen. Die waren in der ersten Halbzeit schon offen. Und das haben unsere Spieler glänzend ausgenutzt. War in irgendeiner Form ein Thema in der Kabine, dass der 2-2 ein regulärer Treffer war? Ähm, mit der, bei der Mannschaft war das kein Thema. Aber Oliver Bierhoff hat es mir in der Halbzeit eigentlich gesagt, dass der Ball anscheinend im Tor war. Vielen Dank, Herr Viel Glück fürs Viertelfinale. Danke. Thomas Müller, herzlichen Glückwunsch zum 4 1 zum 1 ins Viertelfinale. Es war eine beeindruckende Vorstellung. Konntet ihr euch das in der Form so vorstellen? Ja gut, natürlich ist das Ergebnis Wahnsinn. Und äh, ja, dann in der Mitte der zweiten Halbzeit war es auch ein super Spiel von uns. Ähm, aber man darf auch nicht vergessen, äh, wir hätten da beinahe noch einen Ausgleich bekommen. Und Anfang der zweiten Halbzeit war England auch sehr drückend. Also wir haben nicht gegen irgendjemanden gespielt. Es war auch äh, zwischenzeitlich auf der Kippe das Spiel. Aber natürlich äh, Glückwunsch an die Jungs und äh, war, eine, war eine geile Kiste heute. Sie 
Sprachen gab oder möglich die Ausgleich. Es gab sogar einen, dass der Treffer ist nicht gegeben wurde. War ein klares Tor. War das ein Thema bei euch? Ja, wir haben es in der Halbzeit mitbekommen, aber ich denke, das äh, ist jetzt wieder die ausgleichende Gerechtigkeit von Wembley. Äh, und deshalb äh, ist das auch mal okay so. Sie reden, wie Sie spielen. Frei, offen, geradeaus. Ist das das prägende Element des Spiels der deutschen Mannschaft? Zeigt euch das so aus? Ja gut, äh, wenn ich anders reden äh, würde, dann hätte ich äh, auf der Schauspielschule meine Karriere gemacht. Aber äh, ich kann leider nur Fußball spielen und deshalb äh, sind die Interviews so, wie sie sind. Und äh, das Spiel der Mannschaft war kämpferisch, die Einstellung war super. Und äh, ja, ab und zu haben wir auch gezeigt, dass in Deutschland einigermaßen guter Fußball gespielt wird. Jetzt machen Sie Karriere im Trikot der deutschen Nationalmannschaft. Was ist möglich mit diesem Team? Ja, wenn du zu einer WM fährst, ist immer alles möglich. Ähm, natürlich kommt wartet jetzt äh, vielleicht ein harter Brocken äh, auf uns, äh, entweder Mexiko oder Argentinien, aber äh, ist eh egal, wir müssen alle putzen und äh, ja, da schauen wir einfach mal. Viel Glück bei allem, was da kommt, danke. Lukas Bolowski, herzlichen Glückwunsch, 4 zu 1 gegen England. In dieser Form eigentlich kommt man es gar nicht erwarten. Äh, nein, äh, ich denke aber, wir haben heute ein super Spiel gemacht in allen äh, Belangen, vorne, hinten, im Mittelfeld. Und denke ich auch äh, in der Höhe verdient gewonnen. Es gab so leicht Kritik an einigen Spielphasen nach dem Spiel gegen Ghana. Wo nimmt die Mannschaft die Stärke auf, die Kopfstärke, das wieder so positiv umzusetzen alles? Ja, ich denke gegen Ghana war der Druck enorm, weil äh, wenn man in äh, Vorrunde ausscheidet, ist das ganz bitter. Und heute sind halt die ko spieler und äh, da sind die Deutschen immer da. Wir haben heute ein super Spiel gemacht. Jeder hat gekämpft, gelaufen und äh, war super einfach heute. Wie war die Ansprache in der Kabine? Ich werde es ja auch noch nass gemacht. Wie war die Ansprache in der Kabine nach der leichten Verunsicherung, nach dem Anschlusstreffer? Ja, das war natürlich blöd. Wir führen 2-0, hätten mit, mit 2-0 in die Kabine gehen können. Aber das war blöd und äh, wir haben in der zweiten Halbzeit noch mal eine Schippe draufgelegt und dann die Tore auch gemacht. Was geht jetzt noch mit dieser Mannschaft? Ja, wir müssen ruhig bleiben. Wir wussten ja auch nach dem Spiel gegen äh, Australien. Wir haben super gespielt und dann äh, gegen Serbien äh, unglücklich verloren. Also wir müssen jetzt ruhig arbeiten, uns konzentrieren und dann äh, bereiten wir uns vernünftig auf den nächsten Gegner vor. Viel Glück dabei. Danke dir. Ciao. Okay. Wir haben also Glückwunsch zum Einzug ins Viertelfinale. Es wird der wahrscheinlich 100. Länderspiel werden. Haben Sie vorgestellt, dass Sie in dieser beeindruckenden Form einziehen können und die, letzten, die Runde letzte Nacht? Ja, ich meine, ein bisschen kann man es ja nie vorm Spiel, aber ich habe schon immer wieder betont, dass wir einfach eine klasse Mannschaft haben und äh, wir können nach vorne genauso gut Fußball spielen, wie wir nach hinten verteidigen können als Truppe und äh, das hat mir heute sehr imponiert. Was war der Knackpunkt heute? Es gab ja einige Kritik nach dem Ghana-Spiel. Also es schien die Mannschaft komplett weggesteckt zu haben. Gab es da besondere Motivationshilfe? Gab es da eine besondere Ansprache? Was war der Knackpunkt für diese Leistung heute? Ja, ich, also ich fand äh, sicherlich gegen Ghana ist es immer schwierig. Es ist zwar auch, wenn man so schön sagt, ein K.O.-Spiel, aber äh, da haben wir nicht das umgesetzt, was wir uns eigentlich vorgenommen haben. Und heute muss ich sagen, von der ersten Minute waren wir im Spiel, waren wir griffig, waren wir am Mann dran und äh, ich glaube, das haben wir hoch verdient in Sieg. Ein Satz zu Ihrem Tor, der lange Ball von Manuel Neuer. Haben Sie so ein bisschen vorausgeblickt, dass da was geht? Ja, also ich weiß, dass er einen weiten Schlag hat und äh, wenn man den Ball schon öfters im Training beobachtet, äh, kann man den nicht so gut einschätzen. Wenn er in der Luft ist, der macht zwei, drei Kurven und äh, da habe ich einfach drauf spekuliert und äh, ja, habe es dann ordentlich umgesetzt. Reicht es fürs Endspiel oder sogar für noch mehr? Ja, also ich glaube, jetzt äh, schauen wir uns heute Abend mal das Spiel an, äh, gegen wir, wir als nächstes treffen und äh, wir sind einfach eine Mannschaft, wir denken von Spiel zu Spiel. Es war unser Ziel, einfach Halbfinale und das wollen wir erreichen. Viel Glück dabei, Dankeschön.